Let's see how to start using your vScan Air app. Please watch the videos on registration and activation and pairing to prepare your device prior to scanning. Once the probe is successfully connected with the app, you're ready to scan. The presets panel opens with the default preset loaded. Presets are grouped according to the transducers, deep scanning presets under the curved array, and shallow scanning under the linear array. The transducer is switched automatically based on the selected preset. Any preset can be set as the default by pressing and holding on it. It's readily identified by a white bar below the button. The left panel with the presets and menu options closes automatically after a preset is selected. It can be opened again by tapping on the probe and preset button on the top left hand corner or simply sliding it in from the left side of the imaging screen. A new exam is created automatically when the vScan air probe is turned on and successfully paired with the app. You can also create a new exam manually from the current exam gallery in the right-hand side panel. The imaging screen has a header that displays the status bar in the left corner, showing the probe connection and battery status. Next to it is the wireless connection quality indicator to check the stability of the connection of the probe with app. The thermometer icon indicates the probe temperature during a scan. The current preset icon is displayed next to it. Exam number can be seen on the right side. The orientation marker seen at one side of the image corresponds to the physical marker on either transducer. The blue line in the center, when enabled from settings, corresponds with the center line markings on the long axes of both transducer heads. On the right side of the image is the depth scale, with the depth displayed at the bottom. Focus marker is displayed in the area where the ultrasound beam is concentrated for maximum lateral resolution. The lower part of the image houses the color flow, freeze, and store buttons. These buttons shift to the left side when the image is being displayed in landscape orientation. To toggle between freeze and live scanning modes, you can press the freeze button or tap anywhere on the screen. Gain and depth gestures are available to adjust the image during live scanning. Overall gain can be adjusted by sliding a finger horizontally at least half a centimeter from the left or right, anywhere on the image area. Brightness control on the top indicates the change in gain value. Depth can be changed by sliding the image upwards or downwards at least half a centimeter to move the region of interest into focus. It's also possible to pinch and zoom the image in and out and pan a specific area of the image. A zoom indicator is visible on the screen to indicate a zoomed image. On certain presets, there is a penetration button on the black and white live imaging screen, just above the controls at the bottom. This is useful for imaging at greater depths in larger than average or difficult to scan patients. You can toggle between penetration and resolution settings for the preset with this control. Image display is maximized in the portrait orientation for better visualization. At shallow depths on the linear presets, you see two yellow dashed lines on either side of the image. These indicate that the entire footprint of the transducer is not seen to display a large image. To see the entire image, either rotate the device to landscape or zoom and pan. Once a desired view has been obtained, you can save a still image or a video to the gallery. Freeze and press the store button to save a single frame. If you press store during live scanning, a video clip with all the frames in the image buffer is saved. Alternatively, to store a video, freeze, play the clip in the buffer, and press store. The scroll bar in the freeze mode allows you to choose a desired frame in the buffer for saving or measuring. Move the slider to select a frame. vScan Air supports distance and ellipse measurements. Press Measure to activate the measurement mode. 
Move the calipers to position on the structure to be measured. Up to four distance measurements can be performed on a single image. To delete a measurement, tap on the caliper to select it, and then press Delete. Distance measurement calipers are activated by default. Press the color button to activate the color ROI. Color settings have been optimized according to the different presets. The ROI can be repositioned by touching anywhere in the middle of the box and moving it around. The box turns blue indicating that the controls are active. The controls on the corners can be used to adjust the size. The size of the ROI has a significant effect on the frame rates and sensitivity, width more than the height. Keep the box sized just to fit the anatomy of interest. There are additional controls for steering of the color box on the linear array transducer. Use the controls on the middle top and bottom of the ROI to slant the color flow acoustic beam for a Doppler angle, according to the transducer orientation. Color gain can be adjusted in the same way as black and white gain by sliding a finger horizontally across the image when scanning in color flow mode. On certain presets, there is a flow button on the color flow live imaging screen just above the controls at the bottom. This is useful for changing the velocity scale to optimize imaging for fast or slow flow, such as venous flow in the extremities or renal flow. You can toggle between high and low velocity scales within a preset. <laughs>